Do you remember mid-budget films like The Truman Show, Fight Club, Rain Man, and Eyes Wide Shut? Films that had a certain charm, a uniqueness that set them apart. But have you noticed that these mid-budget movies seem to have disappeared from the big screen? It's not your imagination, because the decline of mid-budget films is real. And in this video, we're diving deep into where these mid-budget films have gone, and more importantly, if they will ever make a comeback. It's quite common in Hollywood these days to hear people grieve the disappearance of mid-budget films. You might have noticed a perception that these films, once a staple of the industry, are vanishing. But are they really gone? Or is it a matter of changing definitions and market dynamics? The truth is that mid-budget films are still very much a part of the cinematic landscape. Studios like A24 have been instrumental in keeping the tradition alive. They've made a name for themselves by producing thought-provoking, character-driven stories that fit the mid-budget range. Films like Moonlight and Lady Bird showcase their commitment to unique storytelling. But what exactly is a mid-budget film in terms of production costs? Well, the definition isn't as clear-cut as it once was. While it used to refer to movies with budgets falling in the $20 to $80 million range, today's mid-budget film can be a bit of a chameleon. It's less about the number and more about the essence of the movie, often characterized by originality, compelling characters, and narrative depth. These films have their own unique charm. They aren't blockbusters, but they aren't micro-budget indies either. They thrive on relatable stories and memorable characters, offering a refreshing alternative to the superhero epics and franchises dominating the box office. Now you might be wondering, if mid-budget films still exist, why don't we see more of them in theaters? The film industry has undergone significant changes that have greatly impacted mid-budget films. One noticeable shift is the decline of movie stars' ability to single-handedly carry films. In the past, iconic actors like Tom Hanks, Leonardo DiCaprio, Denzel Washington, and Julia Roberts could draw audiences to theaters. However, that star power seems to have waned as social media exposes celebrities' personal lives, making them less mythical and more human. As a result, major studios have turned to up-and-coming talent like Timothy Chalamet, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Florence Pugh. While these actors are making their mark, they don't possess the same pulling power as the legendary stars of yesteryears. It's risky for studios to rely solely on actors to guarantee a film's success. Instead, major studios have been playing it safe by embracing franchises and intellectual property. They opt for the known rather than the unknown, seeking financial security in established names like the MCU, Star Wars, and various reboots. They hesitate to take chances on mid-budget films, which might not yield the same profits as these blockbuster franchises. This cautious approach has led to fewer mid-budget films from major studios. To illustrate, recent examples like Bo is Afraid, Babylon, and The Fablemans struggled at the box office, even with well-known directors and actors. Even Steven Spielberg's name couldn't guarantee success for his mid-budget coming-of-age drama. Bo is Afraid. So, how have these shifts affected the consumption patterns of moviegoers? Consumer behavior has always played a pivotal role in shaping the film industry, and moviegoers' changing habits have directly impacted mid-budget films. One noticeable shift is the effect of rising ticket prices on theater attendance. As ticket costs have steadily increased, going to the movies has become more of an investment for audiences. This has led to a more selective approach, with viewers often choosing to spend their money on the big, must-watch blockbusters that offer a grand cinematic experience rather than mid-budget films. Another factor contributing to the decline of mid-budget films is the dwindling popularity of physical media. In the past, DVD sales were a significant revenue stream for films, and studios could afford to take risks on mid-budget movies, knowing they could recoup losses through DVD sales. However, with the decline of physical media and the shift towards streaming services, a substantial chunk of potential revenue has vanished. This has made it increasingly risky for studios to produce mid-budget films as the financial margin for profit narrows. Additionally, 
changes in consumer behavior are evident in the growing trend of seeking instant gratification and shorter content. Many people today gravitate towards shorter, more easily digestible forms of entertainment, often through platforms like YouTube and TikTok. Sitting through a two-hour film and paying close attention can be challenging, as people are becoming accustomed to faster, snappier content that provides quick dopamine hits. So, have mid-budget films truly disappeared, or have they found a new haven in a different medium? Streaming services like Netflix have witnessed a significant shift in the world of mid-budget films. However, in this digital era, it's become clear that these platforms prioritize popular content over quality. Take Netflix, for instance. The streaming giant, known for its vast content library, is more concerned with subscriber numbers than its content's critical acclaim or artistic merit. A striking example of this is Bright, a film that, despite harsh criticism, drew in a massive audience within days of its release, largely thanks to the star power of Will Smith. It highlights how streaming services often chase figures rather than the creative integrity of mid-budget films. Conversely, the rise of TV shows has offered an alternative medium for mid-budget stories. Television series have become a canvas for character-driven narratives, allowing stories to breathe and flourish over multiple episodes. Notable examples include True Detective, Severance, and The Bear, which demonstrate the potential of TV to delve into complex characters and intricate storytelling, providing viewers with a level of depth that can be challenging to achieve in a two-hour film. And now, Let's venture into the possibilities and speculate on whether mid-budget films might stage a comeback. There has been much debate about the potential return of mid-budget films to the forefront of the film industry. Recent developments in the performance of high-budget films at the box office indicate a shift. In 2023, several high-budget movies have faced unexpected setbacks, suggesting that the era of easy profits from blockbuster productions might be declining. One notable success story amid this changing landscape is Oppenheimer. This character-driven film, though not strictly a mid-budget project, demonstrates that audiences still yearn for compelling storytelling. Even in a world dominated by franchises and remakes, a thoughtfully crafted narrative can make its mark. This resurgence of character-driven films, like Oppenheimer, could signal a broader shift toward a return to originality in the industry. As audiences show an appetite for engaging stories, studios may reevaluate their approach and invest in mid-budget productions that prioritize quality over sheer spectacle. So, in the end, it's evident that mid-budget films have undergone a transformation in the film industry. While there's a perception that they've disappeared, uh, they haven't entirely vanished. Studios like A24 keep the spirit of mid-budget films alive, offering a unique cinematic experience. The film industry's changes have played a significant role in the decline of mid-budget films. The decline of movie stars' drawing power, the shift toward franchises, and the influence of streaming services have all contributed to their reduced presence in theaters. Rising ticket prices, the decline of physical media, and the preference for shorter, instant gratification content have altered how we consume films. Yet, there's hope for the revival of mid-budget films. Recent box office struggles of high-budget blockbusters show audiences looking for something fresh and different. The success of character-driven films like Oppenheimer indicates a yearning for more original storytelling. So, the question is, do you think we're on the verge of a comeback for mid-budget films in the industry? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more captivating business insights.